Polypex. I got a different video for you guys here today. Um, as I've been going through this recent collection and some of the other packs I've been opening up and other cards, I, I've noticed that, you know, sometimes these cards don't always put the best picture or the put the players in the best light, right? You, you figure, you know, if you're going to have a card or, you know, just do a regular card, maybe you got, you know, someone in a nice pose, like you, as they do in the old vintage cards. Usually they have, you know, someone just holding a bat or something like that and, and looking nice. Or you get a nice little action shot of somebody trying to make a play, right? Something like that. Or, you know, just overall either being a good picture of someone or them doing something successful or, or doing an activity in baseball. But going across some of these cards, I've, I've come across some odd ones. Now, it's maybe not necessarily that they were doing something bad, but it definitely isn't a good look for it or it's just an odd picture to take and, and use for uh, the baseball card. You know, given all the games that the guys play and all the chances to take a picture of somebody, right? The one moment where they either fail or something like that is, is pretty good. Like the one that comes to mind <clears throat> most notably is the 1991 uh, Fleer, the yellow banana set with Ken Griffey Jr. slamming his bat down because he clearly just popped out, right? And that's the bat, and that's the picture they use for his card. But like, so for example, here you got the Brady Anderson card in the 93, uh, 1993 Leaf, right? Visibly angry, right? <laughs> Not happy with what just went down. Probably got a called. My assumption is a called strike three and very angry with, with what just happened, right? It's not, this is not a victory screen. This is not him hitting a home run, throwing his hands in the air and celebrating. This is either him either just getting hit by a pitch or getting a called strike three that he is not happy with at all. So not exactly sure why you would make that. <laughs> his baseball card this next one is it's kind of funny this one isn't so bad right comparatively to the other ones i'll show you but this one's just kind of funny because like carlo hernandez the carlos and again 93 fully uh leaf makes the play he must have just tagged somebody out but i just love the ump in the background check <laughs> just just pointing to the glove right making sure the ball's in there he's gonna yell you're out you know he's gonna get him and everything else, and the, and the guy is too. The probably the guy he tagged is walking off already, but just like how emphatic the ref is behind him or the ump is behind him, it just it's just it's just a funny card. So again, though, it's like why would you choose that? Yeah, great, good for Carlos for making the play and holding on to the ball. So I guess I can see why you use it, but it's just funny that you have the ump in the background just making a fool of himself. And keep this guy's face in mind because we're gonna we're gonna revisit him in a second. <clears throat> this Jose Hofferman one, again, he makes the, well, I don't even think he made the play. Either he just made the throw, and this is just a horrible slide by whoever that is, because uh, he doesn't have the ball in his glove, right? And it's and he must have just turned two, and he's, you know, we're trying to get the guy out. But obviously a cluster with the, who is this, probably Steve Sachs over here running into him, and, you know, it's just a, it's just a mess. You got the runner going into him, you got his teammate running into him, and that's the picture you want to put on his collector's choice card here. Like, all right, here you go. You're the shortstop. There you go. I mean, you got to hand it to him. It's definitely unique as far as, you know, it's not your normal picture. But at the same time, too, I'm sure Jose Hoffman was like, thanks for putting that one where the guy just plowed into me and <laughs> knocked me over. This one is more aligned to just a, kind of funny and nutty. And everybody knew Roger McDowell was kind of a nut, right? He's got, he's got these little Nerf... Oh, those little ping pong ball guns in his pockets and he's got his little camera out. So this one, I don't, you know, this one I think is, it's playful, it's funny. You know, it's him probably taking pictures of some fans with their camera. So, you know, it's, I think it's, he's probably playing to the crowd a little bit. So probably spring training too. So I would say, uh, you know, this one's not so bad. This kind of shows the lighter side of baseball, which is fine, which is what you want, you know. Um, but definitely a little odd, a little funny, I thought. I mean, everybody knows. Yeah, he was he was definitely a character. The next one here by Greg Maddox isn't and again. It isn't so much that it's a bad play. He's reaching up to grab a ball, but it's just like this is the pic This is the picture you want to put on his card, right? Him awkwardly reaching up for you know whether somebody hit a line drive back to him or the catcher just threw it too high. And he had to reach up and get it. Like 
I don't know. To me, it's like there's a million other different pitchers that probably happened in this game alone that you could have used, and this is the one that you chose. It's, it's not the best. Doesn't look the most athletic right there. And, you know, he's such a great pitcher, Hall of Famer, and everything else. And even if you only had one game to take the photo to use for his baseball card, you figure he could do something better than this one. This one for uh, Royce Clayton I kind of like because, again, it comes down to, like, it's not a bad picture of him, but clearly he is either confused by what the catcher is saying or he's, or he's not happy with the location of the pitch. So this one's just more of an odd one. Not one I would say is a bad one, per se, because he's not angry or anything else, but you can definitely tell by the look on his face. He's like, what the f was that, right? He's not, not happy with whatever call just came down or he's not happy with the chit-chat coming from the catcher. I'd imagine that the next... 15 seconds, they would probably punch his bean throw. <laughs> so, still an odd pitcher to use for your baseball card. But this one goes in the Roger McDowell kind of category of just kind of fooling around, having fun. So, like, this one I don't mind so much, but definitely odd, you know, odd way to carry your teammate around. Or uh, he might actually, yeah, that, he might be on the Expos, though, but I don't know why he would have. Oh, no, that's just his number. I thought maybe on the other side here was a different jersey, but... uh. It is weird. Maybe this is like an all-star game or something because this guy's jersey is different. He has a thicker stripe going down his pant leg. And I don't know if he's on the Tigers. So this could be like a maybe an all-star game or something like that. So they're fooling around, you know, joking around, which is fine. It's, it's, at this part of lighter side of baseball, you know, it's kind of fun to put in there. But, you know, I'm sure he wasn't prepared for that to be his baseball card. And then this one. This is when Brett Saberhagen, like, like, don't, don't make the dude be out to be a creep, right? I mean, he's a good pitcher, especially if he was a good pitcher back in the early 90s, late 80s. Uh, you know, and it's just, uh, this is just not a good, good look for him. Uh, I don't know what he's trying to be seductive or, or whatever, but it just kind of looks overall creepy. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure he would have chose to have this as his baseball card pitcher, but... Upper Deck making some odd choices here on the Collector's Choice and, and, and their regular set for their for their pitchers. So, but then you get like the normal one of him pitching and, and everything else. But here he's, you know, <clears throat> I don't know. This one, Michael Irving, I, I thought it was just funny because it's like, that's his touchdown dance. It's like, I'm fabulous. Like, it's, it's just a weird, weird <laughs> pose to strike when you score the touchdown, right? It's like, you know, you don't think of Michael Irving doing that, but it's like a jazzercise pose or something like that. So, no, not, again, but uh, of all the things that he's done on this field and all the catches, all the touchdowns he's made, like that's that's the picture you use, right? This this one of him, right? Jazz hands, throwing them out there, right? Not even dancing or anything else, just striking a pose, looking sexy. But, all right, good for him. All right, so now we're getting into some of the odder ones of of just like, you know, generic, I think just uh, not a great pitcher, right? Bernie Williams, all right, you're showing the hustle, your eyes are closed, you're really trying to make the play, but, you know, again, when it's your baseball card, you, you know, this isn't what I would think you would want to put as your front card, like, you know, showing it. But hey, he's hustling, he's got his eyes closed, he doesn't want to make it out, <laughs> but it's still not the best, not the best pitcher, right? You know, upper deck. Upper deck coming with some interesting pictures. Now this card, you're saying, well, what's so wrong with this one, right? This is portrait. It's a, you know, him and the, the stadiums in the background. You know, he's looking off into the distance and deep thought. This is a great picture. And I would say you're right. And it's not so bad until you turn it over. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is going on? Why do we need this picture of Ivan Rodriguez, right? I mean... Listen, if you want to make it like an ESPN sexiest athletes issue or something like that, I get it. But like, this is a baseball card, right? You got, what do you got? Like seven, eight, nine, ten year old kids generally, you know, young kids just picking these cards up. What, what purpose does this photo serve? So I don't know. I just thought, again, Upper Deck making just some odd choices for their photos. Uh, but definitely, definitely a funny choice. But like with Julio, this one goes down to the category of obviously he didn't do what he wanted to do. He, he didn't succeed. He either made the out or there was a force out and innings over. He's throwing his helmet, waiting for someone to bring him his glove. Like, so, 
Again, I'm not quite sure why this would be the better pitcher to use versus anything else. Like he got on base maybe, so maybe take the use the picture of him getting the hit or whatever. But that's the picture they chose nonetheless. So And this one isn't so bad. It's just weird because if you can focus on his eyes, like it's grayed out from where the shadow of the of the uh of the hat is. So it almost makes it look like he's wearing like a a one-piece visor, like sunglass visor. That one's just more weird and, and just the way it's printed off than anything. It's not a bad card, right? He's just pitching, doing normal pitching. But this one just caught my eye because of, of how the the shadow over his eyes makes it look like he has like a mask on. So I just thought that was funny just in general, not a bad picture. But this one you got Hubie Brooks getting held back from wanting to fight somebody, right? And it looks like the ump's just kind of giving a hug and, and his hand is on <laughs> the ump's hand, right? And it's, you know, he's kind of holding him back. So again, upper deck, I, I don't know why you would want to choose this picture. Like, it's not the best look for him because obviously he wants to go fight somebody. And he's doing that kind of hold me back, hold me back kind of thing. But if you'll notice, the ump in this card <laughs> is the same guy <laughs> who's emphatically calling the the out call so this guy is getting into a few uh a few cards here i don't know how many he's been in i'm sure like if you go through you get a lot of the same umps in the background of cards but i just thought it was funny that this dude is is in the same two cards that i thought were kind of like odd cards so this guy making an appearance i'm always going to look out for him now whenever i have a whenever i get a card if there's an ump in it i'm, I'm looking out for that dude but this one for Jay Bell, right? This one is him sliding and obviously not succeeding very well. Not a very textbook slide. Not what you're teaching the kids out there on the diamond. <laughs> Belly flopping, hat falling off. Probably the hat probably fell off. Maybe bounced back, hit him in the face a little bit. Like, yeah, that was that was a hard slide. <laughs> and not, again, one that if I was Jay Bell, I would want that as my my photo of me failing to slide successfully into third base and then this one you know this one is going to fall these these ones are just going to fall the category of like bobby Bonilla clearly not hitting the ball the way he wanted to either he fouled it off or he, or he missed right but it's not a face of somebody who's happy with what he's done and when you think of a baseball card you don't want to think of a failure you want to you know show success right so that's i thought that was just kind of odd same thing here with the Larry Centers, right? Like, I don't know if he made any yardage on this play, but my assumption would be him being, being gang tackled by three uh, Dallas Cowboys is not a good look. I mean, he's an all pro. He was an all pro in 96, right? He, he, I don't know how many yards did he run for. Uh, he ran for not that many. He didn't really rush for all that well, but he caught a lot of passes. So he's a, he was a good catch, pass catching back out of the backfield there. But uh, he is just getting destroyed <laughs> in this. So again, not, you know, he scored a lot of touchdowns. Why not put a picture of his touchdown or him breaking a tackle or something else? So this one, it, it, you might ask, all right, what's wrong with this one? Nothing's wrong with this one, right? This is, this is what you would expect, right? You would expect this to be Alan Trammell's card. He's, you know, Kirby Puckett sliding into second. He's turning the double play here. You know, you could clearly see Alan Trammell. He's got the ball in his hand. He's ready to fire it away. So this would be the card you would expect to be for Alan Trammell because it's showing him being successful. You wouldn't expect this to be Kirby Puckett's card, right? Well, then, what's going on here? What, what kind of respect do they give Pat Kelly, right? Clearly getting tagged out, right, right here, looking to the ump, making sure he got called out. It was that Omar Vizquel probably tagging him out, has the ball in his glove, pulling away, right? You're out. And that's the and that's the picture you're going to use of Pat Kelly. I mean, I'd almost think like you'd almost want this to be Omar Vizquel's card if his glove wasn't covering his face, maybe a split second or two before where his glove is down. That's the card you use for Omar Vizquel, not for Pat Kelly. But, yep, there you go, Pat. Slid out, you're out. Looking at the ump, you know it. Everybody knows it. That face calls it. Same thing here with Wally Block, <coughs> Backman. Um, you know, trying to put a bunt down. I almost think like if you could airbrush the ball out, it makes this card better. 
right? So it's like if that ball's not there, then you see you see where his face is, where he's looking. You almost think, all right, maybe he bumped it down the third baseline or he didn't pull it off. But here, you know, he's clearly didn't get the bunt he wanted. It's going backwards, right? It's going to be a foul ball. It's fouled off. So it almost, almost airbrushed that out. Same thing here with Brady Anderson, right? Clearly just popped it out. Sky ball. Hopefully going foul, maybe out of play. But not the swing, not the hit. <coughs> Excuse me that you would want Brady Anderson to have or, or that he'd probably want to show on his card. Next one is Pat Borders, right? <laughs> Clearly a guy in pain, a guy who just got drilled with the ball, right? Spinning out of the way, trying to avoid it. But you know what? Here you go. Let's put this on. The upper deck, once again, putting on a, a picture here of, of someone just not at their best. I think, I think that, you know, I'm beginning to think it maybe it was a sense of pride for Upper Deck to do something like that. This next one, uh, these next couple, again, Upper Deck, <laughs> you know, Jeff Kent, you know, you got Jose Offerman sliding in here, Jeff Kent trying to make the play, but there's the ball behind his glove. He clearly missed the ball. Whoever threw it to him, he couldn't get it. The guy sliding in, he didn't want to get hit. You can see in his face, he wants to avoid that contact. And so that's the picture you choose of Ken, Jeff Kent, right? Hall of Famer, right? I think he's a Hall of Famer, right? And uh, ball's going behind him, not his best play. And I'm sure in that game, there was a, plenty of other pictures you could have used of him. But nonetheless, you use that. And then going back to Leaf, the final one here, poor old Darren Jackson. Trying his darnest to make... Probably just make the team, let alone just make <laughs> make the play. <clears throat> and the ball is uh, clearly out of his glove, not making that catch. And he knows it, and we all know it. And now it's on his baseball card, so everybody can see it for the rest of time. So there you have it. Some interesting photo, uh, some interesting cards. I know there's some better ones out there, but like I said, I was just kind of going through the collection I just got. And these were the ones that stuck out in my mind. Curious to see if you guys have any other ones or if you want to share any other ones, right? But I will now forever be looking out for this ump on every card. <laughs> this dude is my my favorite guy now. And <laughs> got himself in a few cards. That's not bad for him. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, kind of a lighter side of uh, the baseball card stuff here uh, that we've been looking at. So uh, let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys have some popular cards that... Uh, you know, I've always you thought were odd or, or just a weird picture for somebody to use. Um, and until next one, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.